Hello everybody and welcome back to Nancy G Haunting at Castle Malloy. Okay, so I was looking through this and apparently I'm still not done with those stone pillars on the other side of the castle. So I'm probably going to figure out what to do because, um, yeah, the book has something to do with that. Well, so yeah, I need to find out, um, the key is for the lock box in, um, the bulk house. And there's that one there. So yeah, there's still a few more things I need to find out what to do, so we'll see what I can do. There we go. Oh, that one took a while to figure out. I had to actually look up a guide on how to do that one. And it still took me a while to actually do it. Okay, that should be the last of those. So I should be able to figure out what these binary code things are. Okay, that's a little bit easier to read now. <clears throat> okay, so, um, take that. I'll try it. Okay. Oh, jetpack start, se start sequence. Ah, okay. So now I know how to do that. Awesome. Okay, well I'll go try that first. I'll make it a lot easier that I can, now that I can do that. Oh, I think I get what I'm meant to do, because I'm guessing what these other ones do. Tell me what colour to press. Okay, looks like i still got some more work to do. There we go. Okay, I actually got that one right. <laughs> okay, so basically I <clears throat> couldn't... I had to do them in the Pacific order. <clears throat> oh, wrong keys. Yay, I'm flying. <clears throat> okay. Oh, well, we can actually go over here. <clears throat> okay, and <clears throat> kind of... Saving. <clears throat> yeah, we can go here. Sorry about that. <laughs> Slowly losing my voice today. Matt, are you in here? Hello? Anybody here? I'm feeling that nobody's probably going to be up here. Okay, what have we got here? Yeah, you can stop with the eerie sounds, please. 
Okay, we got a heap of birds. Or like different types of crows. Okay, that's this. Note. Not entirely sure what I'm gonna use that for. Okay, apparently I can't take those. Okay, anything else of use? Oh, it's this. I need to find a word for it. I probably need to find um <coughs> uh, <coughs> right bird to be able to oh. <coughs> actually these are people's names. Okay, so I probably need to find out which one I need to do. I found out that Mr. Delaney is the one who hid Matt's luggage. Why would he do that? Apparently, he was adamant that Matt not stay in the nursery, so he removed all of Matt's things and hid them down here, thinking it would force Matt out. That was the day Matt disappeared. Stubborn old loon. Well, then, I guess that just proves this really is all just one big inane practical joke. Matt vanished, thinking we'd find his luggage in the nursery. Unless Denal is lying, and he hid the luggage for some other reason. For crying out loud, Nancy, find Matt before this mystery drives us all loony. Ha, here we go. So I might be able to find the books here. Because, um, on this note thing here, um, pretty much says a whole heap of books, so... Three years into the study, by removing all duplicates, I found find that the only remaining true constant is key. Okay. Okay, here's another one. Okay, two simple words that contain such wisdom. Okay, I'm not going to read that at all. Here's another one. To our dearest friend, one year soon you'll find join us here. Seize away your notice. Okay. Is that all the books? No, I'm missing one. Okay, so I got the national one. The arrest one and then what the plow one. So I'm missing the second one here. Oh okay, I can actually fly with this. Because um, in one of my things here, it says to try flying oh, no. to I one of the go. islands. <laughs> Oops. I have a feeling that might happen, but yeah, it says that um, it's apparently an island I need to try going for. Oh, okay, it's this. Because yeah, um, I found that um, whatever distance I went, um, I could only go like so far out and say that a power had run out, so. Okay, there's NS card on that. Okay, that seems to be it, but I see a rock over there. So I'm wondering if I need to go to that. Oh, there's the last book. I was wondering where that was. Okay, animals abound in mess. Mary Ryan, see it in the middle, can answer the riddle. Legs are for this bin evermore. Okay, well now that I know where the four books are, um, yeah, I have no idea what to do with them. Oh, hi there. Okay, that was interesting. Didn't expect that to happen when I came outside. <laughs> okay, so I had to actually look up on how to solve this, because, yeah, I wasn't entirely sure. So, um, basically the books gave you, like, a hint on what letters to do, because, um, basically what was written in the book was the hint. Um, on, where is it? Okay, so, um, like in... I'm pretty sure it was this one, or it was that one, um, like, for the first letter, C, basically, um, 
have to take um, the number that was written in there and um, one of the words. So I um, remember it was one and C in one of the books. I think it was either that one or that one. So basically, we had to take the first letter, like um, at the little island that was there. Okay, so if you remember, it was I think it was C N or something. And so, like the first letter is C, and we did that for the rest of the books. And yeah, it's kind of confusing. <laughs> so yeah, put this in. So C, we pass that Q L. X and N. There we go. So yeah, that one was a little bit tricky to figure out, but Okay, so what have we got? We have a photo of a girl named Fiona. There's a picture of Shrek somewhere. Okay, we have a key. Oh that's probably to that box in the to the bog house. I think this doll is supposed to be me. Okay, so we have another doll. And a book. There we go. Happy sixth birthday. Hmm. That's to that Fiona girl again. Hmm. Interesting. Oh god. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, hi there. Listen, I'm sorry. I shouldn't be in here. This is your home, isn't it? My name's Nancy Drew, and you're you're Fiona, right? Fiona Malloy. Uh. Fiona, listen, I didn't mean any harm. See, I'm looking for someone, a young man named Matt. I don't suppose you've seen him. Fiona? <laughs> Are you gonna be kidding me? Hmm? Uh, yeah, this girl is definitely crazy. Uh, this isn't creepy at all. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Okay, where are we going? No, don't touch that. Oh, ah, uh, hi. No. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Well, now you're trapped over there, then I'm trapped over here. No harm done. You must be Matt. I take it you're Matt. I'm Nancy Drew, the maid of honor. Thrilled, I'm sure. You wouldn't happen to have a tunnel boring machine in your pocket, would you? Or food? Do you have any food on you? A biscuit or two? Some crisps? Cook a Kringle? Anything? <sighs> Sorry. Oh, the only thing that woman in the shabby dress ever gives me are carrots and potatoes and such. I've been wandering around down here for days. I want something full of sugar and nice, greasy fat. You know, real food. Just how did you wind up down here anyway? I stumbled upon the entrance to a secret passage in the nursery, so I thought it would be jolly good fun to make some ghostly sorts of noise from inside it and give Kyla a fright. But all of a sudden, this crow flew in through the window and came straight at my eyes. I fell backwards into the passage, trying to get away from it, and the next thing I knew, I was falling through a hole in the floor. Fortunately, I only fell about two meters. So I got to my feet, and since it was dark and my glasses were knocked off when that crow attacked me, I started feeling my way along the wall, looking for a ladder or something, so I could climb back up. But instead, my hand hit some sort of button. A siren went off, the door above me slid shut, and there I was. I yelled until I was hoarse, but no use. I was trapped. So I felt my way along the tunnel, looking for another way out, until I got to the lab you're standing in. At which point, I blundered into the button you just pressed, siren goes off, door comes down, and suddenly I'm even more trapped. Not long after that, the door at the top of the silo slid open. So I looked up, and by squinting really hard, I could see an old woman with long hair, wearing a long ratty dress, just standing there, looking down at me. 
I called to her, told her who I was and what had happened. I told her everything. Called to her till I went hoarse again. But she just stood there. I even tossed my ring up to her, saying, Go ahead, keep it, just get me the heck out of here. Nothing. How often does she show up? I haven't kept track. All I know is, every once in a while, the silo slides open, and she'll be standing up there in the fresh air, looking down at me. Then I get showered with vegetables, she goes away, and the silo slides shut. Whenever I talk to her, she kind of grunts as if she understands what I'm saying, yet she refuses to help me. It's like I'm her pet or something. And now there's two of us. Dibs on the potatoes. <laughs> of course, because you're Irish. <laughs> Why did this door shut when I pulled that switch? I guess I can figure from the papers and drawings I found. You're standing in the laboratory where the bloke who lived here during World War II did all his top secret research. He was working on new forms of propulsion to be used in flying machines, rockets, that sort of thing. Apparently, to keep unwanted visitors out, he planted devices which would allow him, at the push of a button, to seal off the lab. This gate and all the others will go up when our hostess decides to feed us. Opening those silo doors seems to reset everything. Opening those silo doors is also the only way out of here. Believe me, I know. Tyler's trying her best not to show it, but she's really worried about you. That's the worst of it. Knowing that my eagerness to play a silly prank on her is going to wind up ruining the wedding. She's going to be so disappointed and humiliated and appalled. She'll never forgive me. What an idiot I am. I love her so much, and I am so lucky a mongrel like me landing someone as smart and beautiful as her. And now, whether I ever get out of here or not, I'm going to lose her. What an unthinking, short-sighted, immature idiot. For a while, Kit was convinced you disappeared because you had decided you didn't want to marry Kyler after all. I'm not surprised. The fact is, soon after we got here, he tried to tell me I was about to make a colossal mistake and that I should call off the wedding. Such wishful thinking on his part is exactly why I didn't ask him to be my best man. Oh, I've made up some excuse about office politics and occupational experiences, but Kit was, and is, and hopefully always will be, my best friend. But having him be my best man, knowing he's still smitten with Kyla, I figured I'd pass. Mr. Delaney, the caretaker? He thinks you were spirited away by fairies. <laughs> you know, I actually miss that superstitious, super ridiculous old fossil. Kit and I spent the better part of an evening reading line in the garden so we could fool him into thinking a leprechaun was moving through the bushes. Only a branch snapped off and whacked Kit in the eye, and that was that. Except I must admit, seeing as I have no idea who or what that thing is that has us trapped down here, Mr. Delaney might not be all that wrong. I'm pretty sure her name's Fiona. She's the daughter of Brendan Malloy, the guy who was doing all the research down here. Everyone thought she was killed, along with her parents, when this place exploded. But she wasn't, and she's been wandering around in the bog near the castle ever since. So, if our wedding ever does take place, it looks like I'll end up with a crazy in-law after all. Well, I'm going to go find us a way out of here. You do that. <laughs> 